What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Transport Fever Los Santos and I've gone around, I've smoothed a few things and I've upgraded the fuel line, I'll show you that in a moment and I just got a notification telling me that Train 3 and the Skystormer uh, their lifetime had been reached and they need to be replaced and they're both on the Stab City line so I think before we do anything else we need to have a look at that so let's go on the station, get the line up how old are the trains? Yeah, they're pretty old. We have three. So these need to re be replaced. How much would it be for an Atlantic, just out of curiosity? Their top speed is 62, so you'd need these cars. Um, yeah, I think the green one would... I don't know. Green or red? The red one looks cooler, but the green one goes with the train. Uh, I'm going to go green. One, oh, one two, three. Four. Now, how much would that be? 12 million. Hmm. What if we got rid of a carriage? Uh, actually, what are these carrying at the moment? 42. And what's the capacity on these cars? 16. Uh, so we wouldn't get much gain out of that other than speed, would we? Um, okay, we're going to need to add this car then. How much was it? 12 point... 3 million. Okay, that is on our priority list then. Right, fuel line. As you know, we've been having a few problems. I turned the icons off so you can't see it, but there's still a ton of fuel there. Look at that. The, like, the platform is now full. It's getting to the point where the platform's full completely. Uh, are you going to pick anything up? Right, you've got a full load and it's still not taking anything off the platform. That is how full this is getting. But these are the new trains. They are... Uh, they are Baldwin's moguls and they are just epic they really are. I used to have a toy train when I was a kid it looked just like this it really did but yeah that's our new fuel trains I hope you like them I certainly do right I think what I'm gonna do now I probably should have I yeah I should have done this before the episode but I didn't realize the trains were that old I'm going to save up the 12 million and we're going to replace these trains. So I will bring you back once that's done. Okay guys, so I've paused it here, it's December 31st, 1912. And the reason I've paused it is because I've noticed something. Well, I've noticed two things. First of all, I'm not rich, I'm not poor, but i tell you one thing, I would not pay this pr ticket price, even if I was a millionaire. Look at that, $523 per kilometre. What? <laughs> the game's mechanics are a bit weird. And, and that's for a single ticket, mind. So, yeah, that's just no. And second thing I've noticed, if we look at the TP LS stab line, which this is, then we've got three trains. We've got a capacity of 126. But we're only getting 95. And the frequency is not great. It's like nine minutes. So I think we'd be better off keeping the capacity about the same and putting another train on so the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to get rid of one carriage and i'm going to put replace now and that's going to cost us 10.4 million we've got 12.3 we could actually put the fourth carriage on should we do that no i'm going to do that so we got an atlantic with three cars and then i'm going to go to the depot which is oh, it's literally right by here that's useful. And I'm going to see if I can afford how much we got. Ooh, we're not going to be able to afford this yet. So I'm going to play it. How much are these cars? 630,000. Ooh, we got a new vehicle. We have the Schaffenhauser. We need to do something with boats, really. What could we do with boats? I don't know. I'm going to think about that one. I've got a plan, actually. I've just thought of something really cool we can do. In fact, I'm going to go have a look at that now, see if that's actually doable. So I'm going to pop you in the corner. Right. I don't know what, but if you look at the real Grand Theft Auto V, this is the docks. How cool would it be to have a dock in Elysian Island and then have to train something out of the dock? We could have like a station over here. I think that would be really cool. What could we take there though? And then we could ship it to the city in Vinewood and Del Perro by train. What about fuel? 
What if we completely redid the fuel line? That might actually be an idea. The only other thing near the coast is food. And I suppose we could, nothing stopping us doing a food line as well. I know, that's definitely something to ponder. Definitely something to think about. Right. <laughs> 1.2 million, that's all we need to get those cars. You know, only 1.2, that's like pocket money really. Could afford to buy the tickets with that price. <laughs> $500 per kilometer. That's amazing. I think the first thing we're going to do, we're going to buy this train, put it on the line, and then I'm going to look at boats. We haven't done anything with boats, really, in any of our series. I think it's time to cross that bridge. I think it is definitely time to look, at least consider doing a boat line. I know, it'll require quite a lot of thing in. There is a food farm there. We could ship... Ooh. What if we ship cows up to Polito Bay and then food back down? That's certainly an idea. I do at one point want to put an airport in by there, just because that's where the real airport is. Right, we've got enough now. Uh, pause. It's coming to the end of the month, so we want one, two. Ah, how much short are we? 32. We can get that. Ah, yes. It went up to 27, I think. 21 or 27. And then it went back ne negative. But, hmm, that's definitely... There's also a what is this a construction materials plant here so stone or slag we'd have to bring down to that stone would be the obvious one now there's the stone plant but there's nothing stopping us putting our own one in and the thing with stone stone usually comes from mountains so we could have it over here in like Mount Gordo or something where's the humane labs that would be here Hmm. I don't know, there's definitely a lot to think about. Right, let's put this train on. And I want to have a little bit of a look at this. Close all this nonsense. So this is the Atlantic. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's pretty cool. And it's got 48 capacity, but the frequent... Frequency. The frequency. The frequency should have come down. Yes, yeah, six minutes now. What's our worst frequency? The anti-clockwise halo. Oh yeah, we got to put the other train on there, haven't we? Look at that. This one's full already. Yeah, we need to start doing that. I think that's our next thing to do after the boat. But yeah, that was the Atlantic. Right. I think it's time to seriously look at boats. So what are we gonna do? Huh. That is the ten million dollar question. It'd be cool to have the dock by there. Um Of course if we modified this bridge here a little bit, we could have a dock in each direction. And we could have like a route going down this river, that would be pretty cool. Rain the island. That would be a very expensive idea though. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Um, first things first, I'm going to delete this road. Yeah, go for it. So now we got a bit of room to play with. Now we want a freight station. And I'm thinking just this one. With, let's put four on it. It's going to be 120. Actually, no, I don't think that's a good idea, is it? Ah, I don't know, that's about right actually. Second street connection, yes. And this is going to be here. Ooh, that bit of land there might cause an issue. Um, let's try it by there. Uh, we want, let's keep it playing actually. Oh, it was playing. <laughs> It was so quiet then, I thought it was paused because there's no vehicles down here. Right, we want three terminals. Ah, uh, what? Oh, uh, freight, isn't it? I was thinking then, isn't it normally on the side? Yeah, that's what I want. And I want to turn this around. Ooh, we can do it. I'll have that one like that. And 
please tell we t please tell me we can change the orientation. No, we can't. Damn, that's annoying. Okay, perhaps we're gonna have to send boats down this river. Huh. Never saw that coming. What I'm gonna have to do then is turn it like this is gonna be mega ugly. Either that or just have the boats turn around when they come out, and that's not gonna be very profitable. But unless I literally jump out of game, install that mod, I think that's the only way we're gonna do it. Um Right, let's just chuck it in for now. I might have to go and install that mod later and modify that. I'll do that between episodes, so I won't jump out again. Look how big Los Santos is now. Wow. Right. So, what are we going to ship down here? Um, I really like that food line idea. And I also like the fuel line idea. That's the only problem. Um... The problem is, this food plant's a bit too far away from the coast, and the train station is away. The train station is in the way, so we couldn't have it right for there and just connect them straight up. So we'd have to have a truck line, but we could have the dock here. Okay, let's look at that. Let's try that. So freight, oh, it's facing the wrong way again. Yeah, I think between this episode and the next, I'm going to jump out of game and go and do that. See if we can pop it in here. No, it's not going to let us. It'll let us for there. Okay, that's what we'll do. We want a bit of road. Uh, medium. No, I want a large. Large country road. Like that. Perfect. Right, we would want a dock over... We could have it in this outlet and go into the... Br oh, I like that. That is an awesome idea. Not to blow my own trumpet or anything, but I like that idea. That's an awesome idea. So, we want uh, this to flip around. And it's facing the right direction. One field will be removed. I don't really care about that. Right, so it goes out there under the bridge up there. So that's the fuel. Uh, that's the food, even. Now, fuel... I doubt we could hook this up directly, but we wouldn't have to bring the oil down, but that would make it less profitable, wouldn't it? Because it'd be like a one-way plant. What's the production on this? Oh my god, look at that, 2,800, wow. Okay, we definitely need like a dark, <laughs> wow. I thought it was going to say like 800, nope. Right, uh, where would be a good place? Like that, maybe. And then we want a small country road for this. Let's pop that in like that. And nope, not at all. Not going to work. Oh, yep, that'll do. That will do. And then connect them up like that. Let's lower it a bit. Right, I doubt that's in range, but it might be. Uh, is it? I can't tell. Not quite. Son of a gun. Okay, we can fix that. I am a bit concerned about the islands down here, though. I'm not sure we get a line in. We'll try it in a minute. Right, so. Dock's there. Let's use this dock for the... Hmm... Um... That's going to be a nightmare, that is. Okay, there's only one way to do this. Let's try it. So, let's make this blue, because blue for water, obviously. So it's going to go there. And then it's going to go there. Oh, it froze my game a little bit. And then it's going to go up to there. Wow, this is really taxing. Oh, that was unexpected. That was really unexpected. Why is it doing that? 
If I move this bridge, it might go through the river, and that'd be really cool. Um, line one. This is going to be um, ship freight. Uh, food? Yeah, food one. That'll do for now. Right, now let's sort this bridge out. We're going to have to pause it for this. We do have five million, so we can afford to pause it. Come on. God, my game is being ridiculously slow right now. Wow. I don't even know why. I don't think there's anything running in the background. Okay, guys. My game is being so slow now, it's not even funny. So, I'm going to jump out of game. I'm going to go get that mod, which allows for either direction ships. And I'm going to cancel all my background processes. I don't even know what's causing this lag. I'll load back in, and I'll bring you back in a moment. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got that mod installed. So, I think it's time for just a little bit of a time lapse. So, let me get on with this. I'm going to pause this because, you know, the track's not connected. And enjoy the time lapse.
Okay guys, welcome back, and unfortunately, doing what I did earlier didn't, it basically didn't help, so it's still being slow this game, I don't know why, but whatever, we'll deal with it. And here, this is the map of our lines we put in basically, it looks confusing, but trust me, it's not. Let me just move these ones down a little bit so we can see a little bit more. So basically, how this works, I know it's covering the screen a bit, but there's not much I can help. Let's start with a food line, which is these, how many is that? Seven boxes. So, it starts off here with this one, RF Zancudo Farm. That brings the cows down to the dock. And then, SF Food 1 takes the cows up here to Plito Bay, where they're turned into food. Well, basically, they put on RF Plito Dock Transfer to turn into food, then they put back on the orange line and put back on the boat, so that's these three boxes done. Then they brought all the way down here to Elysian Island and at Elysian Island they transferred the food is from the boat to the train and the train takes it up here to this rather lovely depot I put in up by here and then it's put on these three lines here which you'll notice are all called COM1 Com stands for commercial because these are going to the commercial areas, the shopping centres where people shop and do their everyday thing. I'll shut up now. <laughs> and then they basically distributed. So that's this map covered. And this, the bottom one, is slightly more complicated. I'll show you that now. One second, let me close these. Right, so it starts off up here at Ron Oil Transfer which transfers the oil down to be turned into fuel, you already knew that bit, but I extended it to go to the dock afterwards. And the reason for that is it'll take some of the fuel to the docks down here. At the docks it's put on the boats, which once again go down to this dock, and I put on the train, which then goes up to Los Santos, and then we get to these three lines. These all have IND in their name, that stands for industrial because these are distributed to the industrial areas and I think all that's left now is to buy some vehicles and kick it off so if you want to see that you better come back for the next episode because the next episode is going to be a big one so make sure you come back I will see you then peace out guys